Hello, and today we're going to be reviewing the works WG620 HydroShot 20 volt power cleaner. So let's get started. And starting off at the bottom of the tool, we have the 20 volt battery slot, which will accept any of works 20 volt batteries. Overall, the battery slot is, well, it's functional. There's nothing wrong with it. The battery locks in nice and securely, and there's really no wiggle whatsoever. Now, there is no waterproofing anywhere on this particular tool, so you will have to be careful of any sort of spray splashing or just water that goes near the battery or electrical parts of the tool. But I haven't noticed any major issues while using the tool, so it still gets a pass. Just don't drop it in a pool of water. And moving upward on the tool, we have the hand grip. Now the hand grip on this particular tool is fairly comfortable. It has a rubberized finish that is fairly comfortable. It's a little bit harder than Ryobi's rubberized texture, so it makes it a little bit slicker, but it might hold up a little bit better over time. But I haven't had an issue with really with Ryobi's rubberized grip, so I'm not really sure if it's that big of an improvement. But overall, it is functional and it is comfortable to hold, so it gets a pass. Okay, moving on to the safety. Now the safety on this tool is on the right side of the tool, and in order to pull the trigger, you have to depress press the safety. Overall it's in a good location and it's easy to use and I don't have any issues with it whatsoever so it gets a pass. Okay moving on to the trigger. Now the trigger on this particular tool is a PAL style trigger and this actually pairs really well with this tool simply because of how lightweight the tool is. Being a PAL style trigger means it's easier to keep the trigger depressed if you're working at odd angles and if you aren't pushing the safety and you can actually depress the trigger fully without the tool turning on so there's quite a bit of flexibility there. So I have to say I really do prefer the PAL style trigger on this particular uh, hydro shot versus the easy clean trigger from Ryobi simply because well it just pairs better and I think it's better for when you're working with uh, low angles or high angles because you won't have to have your arm at such a well a sharp angle in order to depress the trigger so it gets a pass. Okay, moving on to the Quick Connect Inlet Port. The Quick Connect Inlet Port works great with the included 20 foot hose or with the included regular hose adapter or with the 2 liter bottle adapter that is also included. Overall, I am fairly happy with just overall the performance. Now, the fact that it's plastic means it, there is a chance that it could break, but it's a fairly quick and easy repair if it does break. You can either contact Works or you can replace it yourself via an adapter kit that you can find at your local Walmart for regular hoses. So, at the end of the day, I'm perfectly happy with the included accessories with this particular tool and I don't see anything majorly wrong with them, so it gets a pass. Moving down the hose, we have the float. The float is made out of a foam ball and it works. I don't really find this all that useful unless you're working in really shallow water, but at least it's there and included, so it gets a pass. And at the bottom of the hose, we have the inlet filter. The inlet filter seems to work fairly well, and I haven't had any issues with it, although I have not used it at a pond or a river, so I don't know just how well it does at keeping the larger debris away from the filter opening. So you'll have to t t try that yourself, since I don't have a way of testing it myself. But it does work with the water sources I've tested it with, such as buckets and stock tanks. And next up we have the wand. Now the wand on this particular tool has about a usable length of 19 inches and it works fairly well. The per connectors on it are proprietary and you'll be stuck with using the works connectors or accessories or tools, but it's still fairly decent and at least the works accessories are affordable unlike the Ryobi accessories, which are just overly priced for what you're getting. So at the end of the day, I have to say the wand gets a pass, although personally, I would have preferred some universal connectors on it. Okay, next up we have the nozzle. Now the nozzle on this particular tool has five different settings, starting off with rinse, zero degree or jet, 15 degree, 25 degree, or 40 degree. And overall, I have to say that I am a fan of the nozzle. I think Ryobi's turbo is uh, nice occasionally, but at the end of the day, turbo usually makes a bigger mess than, well, what you start off with. And you'll have to switch over to the fan setting to clean up whatever you're working with. And so I kind of prefer having the jet nozzle versus having the turbo nozzle. But everyone's different, everybody has different preferences. Overall, the nozzle itself is functional and I don't have any major complaints about it, other than the fact that it's a proprietary connector and, well, it won't work with other tools. So, at the end of the day, the nozzle still gets a pass because of all the different settings. Okay, let's talk about the Hydroshot and the kind of power that it has. Overall, the Hydroshot is a fairly decent little power cleaner. And emphasis on power cleaner here. This is not a power washer, it's a power cleaner. If you're looking for a power washer, you're going to be disappointed by this tool. But as long as you know the difference between a power cleaner and a power washer, you'll probably be fairly happy with the kind of performance that you'll be able to get out of this particular tool. Now these power cleaners are not meant for large scale projects such as your house, your car, the, your 50 mile long fence, you know that sort of thing. These are really meant more for spot cleaning or small clean projects. 
such as cleaning the mud off of the bottom of your boat or a welcome mat or possibly your dog that's been rolling around in the mud at the lake and I think it'll do a good job in those sorts of environments. It's good for cleaning up like small amounts of bird poop off your freshly cleaned car or patio furniture and it just is a useful tool for small and quick jobs. It's not going to be a great tool for if you're dealing with really heavily caked on mud or dried mud or just in an environment that has lots and lots of dust and you're not using any sort of cleaning detergent. But as long as you keep all that in mind, I think you'll be fairly happy with the amount of performance you'll be getting out of the HydroShot. Now the HydroShot is not as powerful as Ryobi's Easy Clean. The Easy Clean is definitely more powerful. But the HydroShot has some more useful nozzle settings such as a 40 degree wide angle fan and a jet slash zero degree setting which makes it far more versatile and coupled with the fact that the HydroShot is also lighter weight and has a PAL trigger means that you'll be able to use this in well tougher to reach environments such as underneath vehicles, up on top of ladders, you, you get the idea. It's definitely going to be more useful and I actually end up using this tool more often than I do my Ryobi Easy Clean simply because, well, it's more versatile. And so even if it is slightly less powerful when you're comparing the 15 degree on the HydroShot versus the Ryobi's 15 degree, I think it's actually the easier tool to work with. So I end up using my HydroShot far more often. So this is another reason why I like the HydroShot. Although I still would have preferred maybe having some universal connectors that would have meant that I could use it with, well, third party accessories. Although Works' accessories aren't actually all that well overpriced, especially when you compare them against Ryobi's accessories, which are on the Apple level of overpriced. So in my opinion, the Works HydroShot is still a good tool to consider if you're looking for an easy clean and you're not locked into a particular platform. And even if you are locked into a particular platform, over the last year, Works adapt battery adapters have become much easier to find and much easier to get a hold of here in the US. You could find them in the past fairly easily, through eBay sellers, but you'd have to wait a long time to get them because they'd be coming from China and overall I really hate waiting for things that I buy. So at the end of the day I would prefer having the HydroShot over the Easy Clean, but then again I have tons of Ryobi batteries so I decided to just own both of them and I'm perfectly happy with the performance coming from the HydroShot. So I think it's still a good tool to consider. Okay, let's go over the pros and cons of the tool. And the first pro would be that it's light. Overall, this is a very lightweight tool, and this is very handy for when you're working underneath a vehicle or trying to get up above your head. So in my opinion, this is definitely a pro. Compact. Overall, this is a very compact power cleaner. It's one of the smallest on the market, and this is very useful for getting into tight areas. It's much more compact than the Ryobi Easy Clean, and in my opinion, that means that this is a pro. 20 volt. Overall, 20 volt means that you'll be able to adapt batteries over from other brands via third-party adapter fairly easily, and 20 volt is going to be cheaper than a 40 volt battery and and more powerful than a 12 volt battery obviously so in my opinion this is a pro accessories there's plenty of accessories that works offers and this means that you'll it'll make your tool way more versatile and they're fairly affordable compared to Ryobi so in my opinion this is definitely a pro grip slash trigger I really like the PAL trigger it's very easy to operate and especially if you're working in a hard to reach area and you can't grip the trigger or the grip the way you should normally grip but having a PAL trigger is definitely a useful feature and definitely something I enjoy having on this particular tool now Having five different nozzles on a single rotating turret head is definitely a nice feature and definitely will save you time. In my opinion, this is a pro feature and something that I do enjoy having. And the first con would be the power. Now, comparing this against the Ryobi Easy Clean, they're supposed to have the exact same amount of power, but I will say that the Ryobi definitely seems to be more powerful and it is noticeable. This is still a decent little power cleaner, but it doesn't live up to the 320 PSI rating as far as I'm concerned, and this is definitely a disappointment and a con in my opinion. And last but not least, connectors. The connectors on this particular tool are proprietary, and that's a con in my opinion. And the fact that sometimes I have a hard time getting my nozzle to fit into the end of the wand and seat properly before it snaps into place it is also a little bit tricky, and so that's a little bit of a con there as well. So yeah, those are the cons. Final thoughts on the Works HydroShot. Overall, I've been fairly happy with the overall performance of the Works HydroShot. It does a good job and I don't have any major complaints about it. I will say that I personally would have preferred maybe a little bit more universal connector, but other than that, it's been a great tool and it's done a good job. I've used it for a few months at this point and I don't have any other complaints really. So yeah, it comes recommended if you're looking for a power cleaner. Just remember, it's a power cleaner, not a washer. There is a major difference there. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. God bless.